Hi, I'm Nate Ball, host of Design Squad on PBS and author of the Alien in My Pocket book series. In Alien in My Pocket book five, Ohm vs. Amp, Zach uses a scientific understanding of leverage to throw a tiny spaceship ridiculously high into the air. In this video, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Ready? For this project, we will need a nice big piece of cardboard, scissors, a dish sponge, a roll of tape, a stick, or a piece of PVC pipe. And as always, some help from an adult for the hard parts. We're gonna start by rolling the cardboard long ways into the body of the spaceship that we're gonna throw into the air. Once you've rolled it into a nice tube, you can use scissors to cut off the extra. Apply some tape to the tube to keep it shut, and a nice long piece along that seam for good measure. Every spaceship needs fins, so we're gonna make those out of cardboard too. We'll tape that piece of sponge right on the top, and remember when you tape it down, not to compress it too much. Of course, we'll add a couple of aerodynamic features to those fins. Last, we're gonna take a small piece of cardboard, fold it in half, and cut a little shape out of it so we can make a hook. Take this guy, fold it around the end of the stick, facing forward, and tape it on. This little spike that we made out of cardboard goes into the back of that rocket ship. Put your two fingers around the rocket, and this is what we're gonna throw with. But now, of course, we have to do a bit of science to figure out if this thing actually works. Can I actually throw further using the atlatl than I can without it? Let's try it. Uh... What I do notice is that it seems to be going off kilter at a different angle and then correcting when the fins catch in. I'm gonna try adding a little bit more mass to the front so all that extra energy I put into it will actually make it go further that didn't work as well as I thought it would. I'm gonna try something different this time. I've added a whole bunch more cardboard to the front to make it longer. As I follow through, it should deflect it less, meaning it goes more straight and hopefully a lot further. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It didn't work very well the first time or the second time. The third time, I made it a little bit longer. Having a longer dart seems to make it travel more straight, meaning that I could put more energy from that throw into the dart, and it went so much further. That's the fun stuff. A lot of the time when you're doing something new or trying an experiment, things don't go the way that you think they would. But that's what makes it so satisfying when after all those tries, things finally work. For more great books and hands-on experiments, check out alieninmypocket.com. And for more hands-on engineering projects, go to pbskids.org slash design squad. Come on, let's go make stuff.